I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mashing out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. Cause you got desires. I know, I know. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jasmine Nicole, and I'm back with another video. And as y'all can see from the title of this video, this is a sit down video. This is a Q and A question and answer. So I took to my Instagrams and I asked, you know, like, hey, I'm at the YouTube video. Any questions that y'all wanna know about me, put them in the little box. So before we get started, I just wanna say thank y'all for watching my video. Um, I hope y'all enjoy. And let me know if y'all want to do y'all want me to do more sit down videos because like I said, this is the first one I've ever done on this YouTube channel. Y'all look at my nails, they're so cute. I just got them done yesterday. Look what happened. I was at work and half of my butterfly came off. So I don't know why, but like I'm the type of person to be like, I'ma tell somebody it came off, the other the other wing came off, but I'm gonna be like, even though a butterfly's wings may be damaged. She still gets lost. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm one of them. Like, I'm gonna say some stuff like that. But it worked. It, it was it broke when I was at work today. Like that's so lame. But let's get started. <clears throat> um, I'm filming on my phone. But I had this other phone that I used to have, so you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. So this is from one account. There are not as many as it was on the other account. Alright, first question. How was your first year of college and what advice would you give to an incoming freshman? So, um, my first year of college, I think went very, very well. I was involved in various organizations on campus. Um, I received numerous awards. Um, academically, I did pretty good. I ended the year with a 3.7 on the Dean's list. And yeah, um, socially I had a little, you know, a little wrestle and tussle, you know, a little bump in the road um, first semester, but that like helped me grow into being a better person. So I'm glad that I went through that situation so that now like I'm just even better. Like I grew closer with God and everything like that. So um, other than that, like I really do love my, I love the fact that I'm in college. Like college was so fun. Like I really enjoyed my first year. Any advice to incoming freshmen? So, incoming freshmen, I really do urge you to please get a planner. Please, please, please get a planner. I'm not even like playing with y'all. I'm about to show you my planner. Hold on. All right, so this is my planner. Um, it was $8.99 at Ross. Don't play, like, I don't play like this. I don't play about the planner. This is like a planner that lasts like, like a year, over a year, well over a year. I'm about to show y'all how busy like my weeks we get. Just do a random week. This is the week of November the 6th. Um, so in my planner, I write down, I'm acting like I'm in the classroom. I write down like what assignments I need to do um, on one side. And on the other side, I'll put like what events I need to attend. If I have work, what, what time I have work. Um, like this was a Zoom call. I had an exam this week, so I put my exam first. Um, different weeks, I put people's birthdays in here because that's just me, but like different weeks, I do different things. Um, it's my birthday right there. November 30th. Um, but yeah, um, one, of my, one of my things of advice would be to please, please, please get a planner and just stay organized. Another one is get out of your, get out of your room. Take advantage of whatever your college campus has going on. I mean, every event, because I can say at my school, which if you don't know, I go to Northern Kentucky University. At my school, we have so many events that go on on campus, and there's so many students that don't come out, they don't get out their room, so there's nobody really at the events. And the events are actually fun. Like, I've had, like, we had a magician. He was like a hypnotist, and when I tell you, nobody was there. I promise you, it was like 10 people there, but it was so fun. Like, we had an ox court wars. I met Conceited, Exhibit A. Um, I, I won a speaker, a JBL speaker, like, and I won a $50 gift card. All in that same night, like, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 There's 
just a lot of good events that go on campus. So just get out your room, mix and mingle with people. Um, another one would be to perfect writing an email because one thing you're gonna have to do a lot in college is write a lot of emails okay you're gonna write a lot of emails um you're gonna be i mean sending a lot of emails um you're gonna be receiving emails from your professors or your advisors and you need to learn how to write it i can show y'all if y'all really need to y'all can always um dm me or whatever i can help y'all especially like having signatures at the bottom of your emails like all of that i can really help y'all so make sure y'all perfect that i think those are my top key things about this. the next question is <clears throat> what has been your craziest college experience so far so i think my i don't know like there wasn't really a lot of crazy moments that happened while i was in college but i would say first of all don't just because it's free don't mean you gotta go and i say this because my school had like a free trip where um you go to west virginia for like the weekend and i'm like shoot let's go like what so long story short i ended up signing up to go white water rafting y'all i can't swim like at all i can't swim i didn't know that we was gonna be in a river y'all we was down there in a river in west virginia in the middle of nowhere let's just say I, met, I called my mama. I made a video on my phone. I said, if I don't make it, this is an I love you to everybody that I love. And I was so serious, y'all. Like, we could not have our phones down there. We had to put on wetsuits that was super skin tight. Um, it was very, it was cold when we, the, the water was freezing cold. We had to learn how to roll in boats. We had to ride the waves, y'all. It was a lot. And I think that was just crazy because, like, um, I could have died. I could have fell out that boat. I was really on the edge of the boat. I'm gonna put a picture in here. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen because, but don't judge the, my face because I was like the second commander. The the instructor was telling us how many um, rows, how many to pedal, baby. And I was repeating everything he said. I said, all right, nobody is falling out this boat. This boat is not flipping over. That had to be like a crazy experience. If y'all think that's crazy, I don't care because I really didn't have any crazy experiences. Um, okay, next question. Would you recommend go going to college? Yes, I definitely recommend going to college because I think it's a life-changing experience. You learn so much about yourself, you learn how to live by yourself, how to um, how to be held accountable for things because like everything's on you. Like it's literally not on anybody else. Um, I don't know. I think college is just a good experience, but it's not for everybody. So I mean, it's really up to you. To each his own. Like, I recommend it because I mean, I'm just a very like driven person and i know what i want to do with my life which if y'all didn't know um when what i want to do with my life is i want to become a nurse practitioner and so of course what i need to do i need to go to college for that and so i you know it really is up to you and what your interests are but i recommend college do you spin the block do i spin the block i'm not gonna lie i have before so i would say yeah what inspires you to start YouTube? Um, I don't really know. If y'all don't know, because um, I deleted all the videos, y'all can't see them. But I started YouTube like back in like, when I was in middle school, so like 2017, 2018, I was making vlogs, weekly vlogs. I don't know what I want. I don't know why I started the YouTube channel, really. I just know I would get in the mirror. And you know, YouTube was really big, y'all. YouTube was so big, like the YouTuber life was so big. And for some reason, every time I went in the mirror in my bathroom, I'm just like, hey y'all, this is Jasmine Nicole, and I'm doing this, this, and that today, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, one day, let me just do it. So I did it, and I don't know. I need to become more consistent. So like, I gonna become more consistent next semester. Um, this is my first semester of nursing school, and I think it'll be better content for my videos and stuff, so. I hope. What were your biggest accomplishments in your first year of college? Um, I'm just gonna list the awards, um, but just kind of something around the awards. I was the president of the Black Student Union, and um, for that, I received multiple awards. Um, I guess just like in recognition of the work that I did with BSU, just because it was something that I had to like get off of the ground. Okay, so. My biggest accomplishments, um, I was invited to speak on a panel called the State of Black in KU. Um, I received a leadership award um, awarded to me by this 
organization on campus called New Epsilon at their award ceremony. Um, I was voted as an emerging star. Um, Black Student Union was voted as organiza Black Organization of the Year. I was voted as the NKU Outstanding First Year Rock Student and Rocks is just like this first year organization for Black students. So yeah, I think those are like the awards, all the awards that I won. Um, so those are probably my biggest accomplishments because I was not expecting to come to college like doing all of that. Somebody asked, do I cheat? Like use chat GPT. I don't think using chat GPT is cheating, but yes, I do use chat GPT um, because I feel like sometimes it gives me an insight and sometimes I need an, an like, insightful answer. I need an answer that's going to be in depth and Google don't really do that for me. So yes. What is your favorite movie to watch? I don't really have a favorite movie. Um, growing up, my mom and me and my brother sometimes, we would watch movies. Like, that's all we do is watch movies. So I love so many different movies. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I couldn't even tell you my favorite movie. But I just love all movies. I like Disney movies, Medea movies. I like anything, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a pro-black person. Anything black, anything black, don't care. Comedies, romance, not really into like action movies. Um, but yeah, I like that. If you could see anything or go anywhere for a weekend, where would it be? Or what would it be? Hmm. Just for a weekend, though? I need it. For a week. Hmm. If I go somewhere for a weekend, it would probably be, like, within the country. So, it would have to be, like, Miami, New York, um, Texas. I've been to California, but I think I would want to go to, like, maybe another part. Um, yeah, probably one of those places. But if I was going somewhere for like a week or so, I'm going, I want to go to like Bali. I want to go to, um, I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Ghana. I want to go to somewhere in South America. Nobody talk about South America. I don't know what was going on. Like, I wouldn't mind going to Brazil. Um, so yeah, like, I would do that for like a week. But not that going out the country is more than a weekend trip. What is your favorite hobby? Um, my favorite hobby, I have a couple. I love to read. So if you didn't know that about me, I love to read. Um, so whenever I can, I read. Um, I do word searches for handy dandy iCAD. Them are my favorite hobbies. All right, let's let's get more. Let's get the other questions. Going. Who is your favorite artist? <clears throat> I'm really indecisive, y'all. I really can't decide. But my top artists are Drake. Yes, I'm a Drake stan. I love Drake. Um, Drake, Rod Wave, The Little Baby, uh, SZA, Summer Walker, Janae Aiko, Party Next Door. Um, those are the main ones. But I literally listen to anything everybody like. Literally, I can't even. I can't even lie, y'all. I'm an old soul, so I know literally all the old school music, but I also know all the new music. So I don't know, I don't really listen to anything. What is my biggest regret? Um, my biggest regret is probably not really opening all my options for college. Um, I only applied to a certain amount of schools because I really wanted to only go to one school, which was um, North Carolina a and And I didn't go because they didn't have enough money. Um, to give me and I wasn't taking out no loans for school and yeah I just think I wish I wish I would have like broadened my horizons when it came to like looking at colleges rate the trips I've been on okay okay I haven't really been on a lot of trips so I'm not gonna lie but um, I'm gonna say when I went to North Carolina I went to Charlotte for a family reunion loved it um, I give that like an 8 out of 10 we had a lot of fun there um, hotels was fire food was fire um, all my family is there, so fire. Well, a lot of my family is there on my mom's side. Um, California is probably the biggest trip. I went to LA to visit my two friends who live there, and I had a lot of fun. I didn't really like the flights there, though, because I had to fly from Louisville to Atlanta, then from Atlanta to California. By the way, go watch that video. Go watch my vlog, because, like, why didn't you watch my vlog if you had me? You, you're weird. Anyway. Um, so LA was really fun and I really, I rate that like an 8 because I feel like 7.5. Only because, um, we didn't really do a whole, whole bunch and I wasn't there for a very long time. Um, but I feel like we could have did more. I did not like the traffic. 
I did not like the commute to get to the beach. It was it was just too long. I didn't like that. But you know, the car rides was fine, but I don't know. I just didn't like all the traffic and stuff like that. Other than that, it was cool. Like I really loved that trip. I can't wait to go on more trips. I'm actually going to Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica in July, so probably gonna vlog for that and probably gonna vlog if I go on a cruise this um for Christmas. My favorite color is purple. Period. Um, let me shout out my fault, okay? Because I took a period. She's cute, I know. Um, my favorite drink, probably strawberry lemonade. I don't really, that's my go to. Um, what would I rate my freshman year of college? I would give it a 7.5. Eight. Um, it was good, but it could be better. What is my type in boys? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I have a type. Like, looking back at all my, like, the boys that I've ever liked in my life, um, I don't really know. Like, I I think I go for athletes and they gotta be tall. I, I think that's what it is. Like, they're just tall, athletes, definitely gentlemen. I don't really go for no hood dudes. I don't like that. I don't like none of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't really like a look. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I really, like, I have went, like, I've talked to light skin, dark skin, brown skin, like, all of that. Okay. My biggest fear, my biggest fear is probably not having a relationship with God, because that's scary. What is your biggest lesson from college? Do not trust everybody who said that they're your friend, because they could be saying something to you and saying something else to other people about you. It just, it is what it is. So, make sure you feel people out before you really call them your friend. What do you want to be in life? Okay, so when I graduate college, I'm gonna graduate with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. So once I do that, I'm gonna become a nurse, um, probably stay in a hospital for a few years, then I'm gonna travel nurse for a few years, and while I'm travel nursing, I'm gonna be getting my master's degree um, in nursing so I can become a nurse practitioner. And what I would like to do with that is like help a lot of black mothers I really want to help young black mothers um, be prepared for their babies because it seems like young black mothers don't have a lot, like a big support system. Um, stuff happens. I mean, you get pregnant. It is what it is. And sometimes they don't know what they're doing. So I would love to like help them. But it's like, I, want, I have so many aspirations. Like I want to help in education. So I'm, I might want to teach a little bit. Like, I don't know. But my main thing is just to help people. And I really want to work in labor and delivery and help black mothers because I know like, we die so much more. Like the black maternal mortality rate is just crazy. I'm about to go on a rant, so let me stop. But that's what I want to do with my life. Like I really just want to help black people, black women in general, but everybody. I'm not anti anything. I'm just saying that. Okay, three things I can't live without. God. Water. Family. Perfect day idea. Oh, perfect day. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be general right here and say that I love a picnic, but I love a date where it's not just one one setting. Like you leave, you go somewhere, you leave and go somewhere else. Like I like I like that. I like, okay. So I say a perfect date would be a man is gonna pick me up from my house. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know where I'm going. I like surprises. I love to be surprised. I'm not going to lie. I really do. I love to be surprised. So, man, he's going to take me to a park. Um, he going to have the whole spread out. He going to have everything, like a nice little blanket, a picnic basket with some sandwiches, some chips, um, some nice little drinks. We're going to just do a little cute, do a little cute stuff. But I need to be at a park where it's like aesthetic, like, we're like it just the scenery is so beautiful like that would be amazing um we leave the park and maybe we just i don't know like i don't have no perfect date but i just like where we can just vibe i just love i love laughing so anything where we laughing having fun and talking because i love to talk i don't know if y'all next question what is your dream vacation spot mm. i don't know I just want to travel the world. I'm not gonna lie. I want to travel the world, but I definitely want to be on an island. I need to learn how to swim, y'all. I need to learn how to swim first. But I definitely want to be like, I want to just go on an island and just be an island gal, be an island gal, you know? So somewhere on the island, but I don't know. I just want to go everywhere. So my dream vacation spot, everywhere. Or am I single? Yes. 
what made you want to choose NKU as your college to go to? NKU, um, I didn't want to go there, obviously. I wanted to go to an HBCU, a historically black college. NKU is very much a predominantly white institution, but what made me want to go there was the money. Honestly, I went where the money resides, baby, where the money resides. Okay, NKU gave me a full ride to college and I was able to get a refund check from them as well because of the amount of scholarships that I had. And I just thought that was my best bet. Um, and I knew they had a very, very good nursing program. They, I'm going to my sophomore year in the fall of 2024 and I will be starting nursing school. I'm starting in the hospital and my clinicals like, so yeah, I definitely do vlogs when my clinicals are gonna be on Thursdays from seven to three period. Um, so yeah, um, definitely money and nursing curriculum. Um, anything else? I, I couldn't even tell you. Like I didn't even take really a good tour of the school. That's not good. Don't do that, y'all. Don't don't go to a school and you ain't never toured the school. Don't do that. I got I got lucky and it was a good school and everything like that. But don't do that. What is your major in college? My major is nursing with a minor in honors. How do you manage being a full time student and still have fun at school? So, um, a full-time student is very hard. Like I said, a planner, my handy-dandy planner, definitely um, is something that helps me manage that. Um, as well as having a good support system and good friends, it can it can be a good balance. Like, you and your friends, y'all need to make sure y'all can get your homework done together because um, everybody can't be failing and y'all just outside having fun. Don't do that. Cause then what are you in college for? You're not there just to have a good time. You're here to get a degree and have a good time. Like you're there, you're, you're wasting money at that point. If you're not doing your work. You paying for the classes and you're not going to, you're not going to class. How that work? I manage it, but like I said, using a planner. I also manage it by taking time for myself. And I'm not gonna lie, that's one regret I do have through my freshman year of college. I didn't take enough time for myself. Take some time out for yourself treat yourself i know like in college you may say you broke i'm broke blah blah blah, blah. it don't matter first of all get an on-campus job if you broke because i had an on-campus good on-campus job they don't pay a lot of money but it's a stream of income that's all i'm saying anyways um make some alone time manage your time um go to the library please go to your library meet with your professors if you are confused, ask questions because your professors are literally there to help you. Like, and if they can't answer you, go to somebody higher than them or go to another um, professor that maybe can point you in the right direction. But do not be struggling in college because there's so many resources. And when I say so many, there's so many organizations, so many clubs, so many offices. Y'all, college has so many offices like that are trying to help you. So take advantage of all your opportunities in college. Okay, any boy advice? Um, this is very this is a very general question, but I would say to all my girls out here, and you are trying to get y'all men. I cannot stress this enough. Do not, do not overplay your part as a young woman. Because I know, like, men like to be chased now. But it is, like, you just know your worth. If you are confident in who you are, you know who you are, you're not going to take anything from what a dude has to say to you. If a dude is not giving you attention, move on. Do not stress about the dude. And don't, y'all. Y'all making it a trend. Y'all making it a trend to become delusional. Don't be delusional about these dudes that don't even care about you. Being delusional about your boyfriend is one thing. But being delusional about a dude who's out here not taking you back, not calling you back. Why? Why are you being delusional? Just leave that boy alone. If that boy got you stressing and he not your man, leave him alone. You know, it's just like, it's so simple. And I had to learn that too. I've been through a few little things like... And don't lower your standards for nobody. Like, if no dude around you is up to the, your standards, don't lower your standards and stoop down to a, a dude's level. Like, if you're up here. You hold yourself up higher. If a man is not treating you how he should be treating you, then go. Some of y'all need to just leave. That's my advice for boys. Um, if y'all need some more advice, if y'all got any girl questions, ask me. I got y'all. My biggest goal in life is to help as many people as I can. I know I can't help everybody, but to 
but to leave this earth knowing that I even tried to help people every way that I could. My first kiss, my first kiss was in ninth grade. Um, I was, yeah, I, it was in ninth grade. I met with this dude, R.P. him, rest in heaven. Um, I met with him in the stairwell, and we kissed. I mean, it is what it is. I think I feel like that's really a, like a high school thing. Like you kissed me in the stairwell. Everybody, I feel like has done that. Or, yeah, it ain't just me. It was a thing that. Yeah, I kissed him in the stairwell, and that was that. How do I relax? Nice question. Um, I relax by listening to lots of music. Uh huh. Listen to music, lighting a candle, um, watching Netflix. Ooh, y'all, I'm a binge watcher. But yeah, um, I relax by like coloring. I love to color, y'all. I really do. I like to color, listen to music, um, just chill in my bed, you know? Just be in my own space with nobody else around me. How many tattoos do you have? I currently have four tattoos. First one I got was this one. Um, it says we, which is the W-E, or W-3, because it's us three, me, my mom, my brother, um, in our household. And we are one. That's the so saying that we have. Then it says Psalms 118.24, which, which in the Bible is, this is the day that the Lord has made, we shall rejoice in the God of And that's just something that we say um every single day when we get up my second tattoo i got that in like 2022 this one i got like february 2023 um it just symbolizes change and growth it's a caterpillar a cocoon and a butterfly then my third tattoo i just got in february of this year it just says she is more precious than rubies and all things you may desire cannot compare with her which is proverbs 315 with a little crown on it shout out my girl annalise and then I just got a tattoo like 10 days ago, which is this matching tattoo I got on my mom. It says, love you to the moon and back. That's something that we say a lot. And then it says, you are my sunshine because my mom calls me her sunshine. Ever since I was born, she used to sing a little song to me. So yeah, them is my little tattoos. Um, this one's still healing. I had an allergic reaction to it, so you know, not too much. How many siblings do you have? Um, biologically, I have four brothers and a little sister. I'm a middle child. Three middle children stand up. We don't get enough love. Um, I'm a middle child, so I have two older brothers, two younger brothers, and then I have a little sister. She's four years old. And then I have two additional brothers, um, and they're older than me. What are your goals for the rest of 2024? So, my goals are to finish these summer classes, because I'm taking the summer classes to get ahead in the nursing program with an A, get through my first semester of nursing, um, excelling in nursing. Um, I would love to grow my YouTube channel um, because I really haven't put enough love into it. I I'm planning on it, like I really am planning on putting some love into it. Um, I also want to read more. Um, I didn't do that as much as I should have last year and I really want to read some more black books. So yeah, that's a few of my goals. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So 10 years from now, 2034, I will be 30 years old. 29, 30 years old. Um, by 2034, I should be well into my nurse practitioner career, making big money. You know? By that time, let's see, I'll be 29, 30. I wanna at least have one child. I, I wanna at least have one child because I want to have about four children. Either two or four. I don't really want three. I want two or four. Um, like I said, well into my career. Um, I just want to be successful in my life. Uh, I want to make sure everybody around me is successful. Yeah, that's where I see myself. Okay. How is your mental health? Right now, I think my mental health is very good. Like, I think I'm at a very good level. I'm very happy with my mental health. I really wasn't a person who thought about mental health for real until I came to college. Like, I didn't understand how how important it was um, until I seen so many people struggling. Um, and I think my mental health wasn't good at one point in time, too. So I think right now, it's always important to celebrate when you're good. So I'm good. Going outside. Go in nature. Y'all, get off them phones. Get off your phone and go outside. Touch some grass. Something. Sometimes, y'all, 
really, the technology really ain't it. Like, sit on the porch, sit in the swing, go to the park, you know, do something like that. All right, y'all, we're coming upon the last question. In five years, if you're not where you want to be, what are you willing to do to change? Mm, this is a good, good, good question. So five years from now, it will be 2029, which would, when I, which would be when I graduate with my master's degree. So if I'm not where I want to be, I'm willing to change my goals in order to meet them. I'm willing to change them and alter them so that I can meet my goals. Um, I'm also willing to change what I want to do with my life. I may have this nursing degree, but what if I don't want to work in a hospital like I say I do right now? What if I want to work in a doctor's office or something? I'm willing to change certain aspects of my life to fit where I need to go. Because I want to be successful in my life and I want to be able to help people. That being said, I want to say thank you for watching this entire video. And y'all might be wondering, like, don't you be wearing glasses? Yes, but like, y'all see the glare? That would have been so annoying, the whole thing. The whole video, that would have been annoying. But I want to thank y'all for watching this entire Q&A video. It wasn't too long for you, babe. If y'all have some more questions for me, y'all always will. Y'all always, always, always welcome to ask them in the comments, in my DMs, whatever. I'm very open. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I really hope that y'all have a great rest of your day. If you're watching this. And thank you for watching. Um, I am hoping to put out some more videos. If y'all like the little sit down videos, please let me know. Um, I'll do some more. I don't know if I'm willing to do a mukbang, y'all. I get down and dirty when I eat. So don't ask for no mukbang because uh, y'all not about to embarrass me. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't do that. I don't do that. But yeah, so thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because what are you doing? You love it over here. Yeah. You can't trust in me. I can't use it.